Good morning, everybody. It is currently 8 a.m. Monday morning. And we figured we'd start this video out with making some pancake bites. You want sausage in your pancake bites? <laughs> We're gonna try something different this morning and see how it goes. Hopefully it's a hit. Colton is not huge on pancakes, but I'm thinking if I mix the sausage in, maybe some syrup and I'm gonna put them in little muffin tins and put them in the oven. It has been a long month for us. Um, I don't know if we've told you guys yet, but, but our 14 year old pug crossed the rainbow bridge. He had been battling cancer for a couple of months, very aggressive cancer. And it was causing giant tumors on his neck and his ear. It's been a really hard, sad process, but Today's Monday, Friday um, at four o'clock. He had to be put to sleep. We thought it was gonna be the Friday before, but we took him in and the vet was like, hey, if you want another week, I'll send him home with medicine to keep him comfortable. Like his lungs still sound okay right now. He was still eating very good. He ate up until the last day, but he, um, he was exhausted and very tired and in a lot of pain. His, um, ear was two times the size of the other one because the tumor, the vet cut it out and it came back in his ear canal. So he was in a lot of pain. That's kind of why we have been quiet this month. 14 years losing a pet like that, it's like losing a family member. So it's been a grieving process. Just the week before knowing it was coming and then this past week knowing for sure that the date was set and yeah. But anyhow, good morning. Love y'all. Sorry we ain't been around. We're back. Let's make some pancake bites. Did it bite? Okay. <laughs> For starters, I've got my oven preheating pre on 400 degrees. Overlook my fingernails. I've been eating a chamoy pickle. If you know, you know. And my fingers are dyed red. Cannot wash it off. You need sausage, bag of pancake meat, some cheddar cheese, cup of water, your syrup. Very simple, but now you can add bacon to this, put you some egg in it too. Okie dokie. While the sausage is going, put our pancake mix in the bowl, get our cheese grated in too. One cup of water. Colton is not a big, huge cheese fan, but hopefully he won't mind it in this. That is about enough. Gonna go ahead and add my pancake syrup too. There's what you're working with. Mm. It's ready to go in. So if it was the mini tins, I'd probably do about 15 minutes. But since it's these, I'm probably going to run 20, maybe 22. But just check it. Same old rule applies. Stick a knife in it. If nothing comes out, they're done. I just figured I would let you guys know. My heart is absolutely broken, you guys. It is... That's why I haven't been filming because it is, it's hard for me. I'm, I'm a little better, you know, it's been three days since my dog passed, but I think that doom and gloom of just waiting, the waiting up to the appointment, and that really got to me. And so I don't, I try not to come on here and be, you know, sad Sally and stuff, but I mean, this is our real life. And I have to come to the realization that it's okay to be, a little vulnerable when we're going through things in our real life. I always kind of hide myself away and stow myself away until I'm over the hump because I'm just not good with my emotions. I'm, I'm just not. 14 years, that was my little squishy face baby, you know, my little pug. And he was the first dog that me and Sean got together, you know. It was just him for a little while. Been struggling, I'm, I'm better now. I'm thankful he's not suffering anymore. I was gonna show you guys now. He's still alive in this picture, he was sedated. You can probably see my thumb right here. That's his ear, normal, no issues. And you can see the size of this one and how it's sticking out. The first time was down under his ear and the vet cut that out and it looked great. And I allowed myself to get all happy like, yay, you know, he's, <laughs> even though I knew it could come back more aggressive. We were told that. When it came back this time, there was even the vet, he's like the best surgeon I know. He said, I don't think can touch this because it came back literally in his ear. 
it came back through the old incision he had removed the cancer from the first time and then it grew within a week and a half it was this big that's what's been going on the wind is blowing it's flipping cold the weather ain't been helping my mood either because you know of course we lose one of our pets we've had for the longest and um it has been rainy and gray ever since <laughs> and cold i'm happy my pug is not suffering with that horrible cancer anymore but i miss him we all do colton hasn't really asked much but chloe saturday morning when we got up she always runs over her and Colton and helps let the dogs out of the kennels because they only sleep in their kennels at night. They, we leave the doors open at night, they go straight in. She said, Mama, where's Pug? Where's Puppy? And she was looking around the room, but I don't think Bubba has noticed too much, but she definitely has. We are supposed, I would love to see a flurry. I really would. We're supposed to get some snow today. It's raining. It's still 40 degrees, so I don't think we will. If we do, it's not gonna stick to nothing, but I would like to see a couple flurries. You know, Christmas spirit is upon me. Okay, you guys, they are done. I'm gonna let them rest and finish cooking the eggs and the sausage links. <laughs> what was that smell you said? Well, smell like weenies. Weenies? <laughs> Did that egg smell good? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she does not like eggs at all, do you? No. I know. <laughs> she came running. She said, Mommy, what's that smell? I said, I'm making the eggs. She said, yuck. My, my daughter, y'all, she does not like eggs yet. Yeah. All right, you guys. Breakfast is served. These turned out perfect. Yeah, Papa. Moist. Who's hungry? Boy, I'm hungry. <laughs> hey. <laughs> where, are you, where are you going looking like the kid from the Christmas story? Y'all, I'm taking them to the park. They done really good with school today. So, we're going to go to the outdoor park instead of the indoor park at the rec center. It is cold, but we've got snow boots on or snow jackets. And, yeah, just different atmosphere. Change it up a little bit. Hey. He thinks he's going to Mamaw's house. You ain't going to Mamaw's. We're going to the park. Park. You want to go play at the park? He's got his snazzy snow boots on, his snow jacket. Nip <laughs> 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 the snow suits in the car. I don't know about all this. It's hard having princess hair, ain't it? Mama, get ready. What? She's just ready, Mama. You're just ready. Are you ready, Mama? I'm ready. Are you defeated in your marshmallow jacket? <laughs> Slide. Yes, we're going to slide. Slide. Yes, we're going to slide. Y'all see this jacket that I got on? I bought this when I was pregnant with Chloe. Do you remember that yeah. at Marshalls? I think I paid twelve ninety nine for this Michael Kors jacket. Now, who knows? It could really be one. I don't know, but it's been in my closet untouched for years. That long. So yeah, three year old jacket. I'm finally. I couldn't get my belly around it when I was pregnant <clears> with her, and I just forgot about it. So. Let's go to the park. You got the whole park. <laughs> Golden's out. He don't take no time. What did you find, Cece? An acorn? As we were pulling in, it is starting. There's little snowflakes. Kind of feels like ice. Well, what did you find? Let's it's see. It's weird. Show them. What is that? Acorns? Yeah. <laughs> Colton officially starts homeschool. They're the accredited program um, in August. Then he can start going to the homeschool co-op groups. There are a couple times a month, I think, and um, Chloe until then, while he's doing that, just depending on how many hours, the days that they do that, that he'll be doing that. Me and her will go to the rec center, whatever, go get some groceries, whatever. When she starts, she can start going to the homeschool co-op group too. She's in gymnastics at Colton. It didn't work out for him. He's just, he's a wild man, so he's all over the place. But he does, when she's doing gymnastics, he goes to the indoor playground at the rec center and plays with all the kids that's always there. It's always full, especially in the evenings. I love this little park here. Hey. What? Where are you at? Daddy. Where? Um, Let me see. Oh, there he is. Are you gonna you gonna go down the big slide? All right, let's see it. Good job. 
What's wrong? You scared to go up it? Bubby, can you come go with Cece? She's scared. You don't want to? Well, go down the little slide. This is the big one. Oh my goodness. Go down the, the little slide. It's over there. <laughs> you guys, this is, I don't know if you, it's really high off the ground and it scares her. Let this Bubby show. This is a big slide. Well, that one's, a, but the bait, it's over there. Up here. You have three slides in Mama, front of you. you come up that's here. very low to the ground. Mama, you come up here. You want me to come? Yeah. Oh, gosh, really? I'm okay, well, what if Bubby comes and goes with you? No. Y'all, that is my child, my drama child. Now, how in the world am I supposed to do this? Yeah, well, I got oh, it. Oh, Thanks. Oh, oh, oh you're okay. happy now? Oh, I can help. <laughs> Thank you. You go down this one, I'll hold your hand, and I'll go down this one. I guess we're going down the slide. <laughs> Give us a push. Woo! See how easy that was. No fear. Yeah. Yay, good job. We had to come investigate. They seen the lights. <laughs> Right here is like when they do sort of small festivals, I guess, kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but they'll do like singing on this, the bands will do the stage right there. And what? Other people sit over here. It's really nice. Are you cold? You're hot. You're hot. That's a big truck. That's a big truck. You can go over there and look. Be careful, sis, going down. I got it. You got it? Okay. Whoa. Whoop, you sure about that? Look, Bubby's going to that one. Oh, we're gonna stay a few more minutes because I'm getting cold. My hair looks horrible, y'all. They are definitely getting their workout in today. <laughs> That'll be like ice. It's locked. They got it locked because it's too cold. We just got caught in the biggest gust of wind and it was ice cold with literal ice in it. So we're checking out. We are done at the park. They want to go. What do we want to go get? Ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. So I'm going to take them to Dairy Queen and get them a little cup of ice cream. I, don't ask me why they want ice cream. Okay, it, it's 35 degrees outside, but that's what we're doing. My parents are coming in for Christmas, and I would love if we could get a white Christmas. Now, do I want a lot of snow? No, but I would love to have a white Christmas, and I know my mom would absolutely love that too. Can you see the snowflakes? I don't know if you can or not. Pop a bubble. You want me to pop that bubble? Is it moving too fast for you? Oh no, got it. Are you watching Christmas stuff? Hey, did you see the snow outside? Yeah. You did see it? It's hard letting go of the nice weather. Looking like indoor activities, it is. This evening I'm making homemade chicken soup for dinner. You guys, <laughs> I told you, I wasn't flipping. Look at that. That is sleek though. That is pretty much pure ice, but that happened in like two minutes. So if it keeps it up, the roads are probably gonna get pretty slick. So Sean is gonna run out real quick, fill that propane tank up. Told you though, that's why me and the kids ran for the car down there at the park because it came out of nowhere. I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner started. Now, I am missing a few ingredients. It's fine, it doesn't matter gonna wing it and just roll with it. It's snowing icy and I ain't going out to get nothing. I am gonna do some egg noodles and a box of this. I'm using chicken broth instead of chicken stock. I'm gonna do carrots, celery, about a quarter of an onion. I'm just gonna put that in and saute the veggies down some. A little bit of garlic. If I need to, I'll add a little bit of chicken bouillon. I was gonna tell you guys, in case some of you don't know, if you use bone broth, make sure you give it a good little shake because you have stuff settles on the bottom sometimes. Go 
of course, yeah. I'll be adding probably four cups of water to that as well. I'm adding two of these packets. Come out of there. The chicken is cooking over there. Smells so good. I just put my normal spices on it. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion, all that stuff. Seasoning salt. But all I'm putting in mine, like I said, is celery and um, carrots because, and onion, and I'm gonna chop up some garlic. Now my carrots, you guys, I'm not slapping, slicing super small either because, you know, we want some bite to them. They're gonna be soft, but I'm going with a half of onion because, man, I love onion. The more the better, but I ain't gonna do too much because of my youngins. Chicken is going, yes, I'm sauteing my veggies um, for a few minutes. Right now, we're just letting all this goodness cook. It smells so good in this house. Okay, you guys, dinner is done. It smells so good. Now, I've got garlic bread too in case the kids don't eat too much of the soup, but. The whole It is so cold, you guys. I just got my kiddos in the bed. I'm waiting on my little chunky puppy to use the bathroom. But my sister, she lives like 35, 40 minutes away. They got a lot more snow than us, but that's that's about the gist of it so far. I'm sure you can see my roof on my carport, but my lights. But yeah, that's the snow we ended up getting. Not too much. You ready to go in the house? Come on. It's cold. She loves the snow, you guys, though. Just gonna let you guys know that content is coming back on a regular basis. We have, uh, me and Shauna sat down and talked and we have planned some videos. Of course, this, the, the rest of this month, we've got um, Christmas Eve at my sister's coming up and then we'll have Christmas here. I think for my sisters, we're gonna do just like finger foods. So not a meal, but Christmas Day, we are, Sean, like, he can't handle it. <laughs> like, finger foods, like, he, oh, he has to have a full course meal. So, Christmas Day, we will be cooking a good dinner here at the house. Christmas Eve, we're just gonna do, you know, like, broccoli salad, um, the little Polish sausage weenies in, um, grape jelly and barbecue sauce, stuff like that, finger foods. A lot of you guys usually ask, like, you have cats? Yep, right there's one. She's about 13, 14 years old now. We actually got her like six months after we got Pugly, so, or maybe about a year. We got Pugly, then we got Zoe a couple months later. Then we found Raven running around at the flea market all by herself, and nobody was there, so, and she was very tiny, so we brought her home. She was a little feral. It took me a little while to get her down but now as old as she is i can bath her and she you know she complains a little bit but she she doesn't fight me or nothing so she's a good cat i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog come in and say oh, 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 oh what i was gonna talk to you about the last ufc and bryce mitchell and ufc yeah. is that wrestling uh, no ufc what is that fighting oh UFC. <laughs> Now, you've seen that. He's coming in to talk to me about UFC, which I, I don't watch. I probably should, but I don't. But You know who I'm talking about. Bryce Mitchell. No, the I don't. Little country boy that, the little country boy that fights in UFC. I guess. Anyway, he got knocked out bad at the last one. Oh, but no. So he talked smacked and got knocked out. No, he never talked <laughs> smack. He's one of the coolest little... He's like a country boy. Right. Like, goes hunting, Shh. cooks his own I meat, mean, all that. Sorry, in the Okay. But anyway, he got knocked out bad. He didn't talk smack, but he was like... He responded because he had a seizure in the ring and everything, and the dude was talking... You know, he was talking about the fight, and he's like, man, I'm so grateful for Joe Rogan because Joe Rogan told him, don't let me stand up. And he yes. said, I didn't know what happened. He said, the minute he hit me, he said, I didn't come to till I was on the gurney. And he said, I was talking to him, and he said, I don't know what I was saying. He said, that wasn't me. It's like me talking to him about makeup. Feel me? We love y'all. Stay positive, stay country, and stay true to your roots.